Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to install NetBeans IDE to create the Java program. So first of all, visit to the netbeans.org. Then here download button is present. Click on the download button. Now check out it, the latest version of NetBeans is which one? 12.0 at the time of creation of this video. So just click on download button here. Now here I'm going to select this one that is called NetBeans 12.0 bin Windows setup. So just click on here setup for the Windows, Linux and Mac operating system is present. Select the setup according to your operating system. But here I'm installing this NetBeans IDE for Windows operating system. That's why I'm selecting this link that is called Windows setup. Click here. Now on this page, a lot of links are present. Select this one first link uh, you can select this one alternative uh, source also you can select this one i'm selecting this one now check out it start downloading of which one netbeans ide the size of the netbeans ide is what 358 mb click on the save button now uh, it is asking for a path where you want to save that path suppose i want to save that uh, setup inside which one c colon just click on the save button now check out it start downloading uh, that setup. It takes some time. Just wait to complete the download. Now download is completed. Uh, so just click on this setup, which is I just downloaded. So double click. Okay, now it will start installation of which one? NetBeans IDE. Now it is configuring the uh, configuring the installer. Just wait to complete this process. Now on this screen, just check out here what are the different options. Uh, it is installing Base ID, Java SC Standard Edition, Java Enterprise Edition, HTML5, JavaScript, and PHP. So support for all these. Uh, what development platform is provided by default inside which one? NetBeans IDE. Now you can uh, use the customize option here. You can specify which option you want to select and which option you don't want to select. Suppose I don't want to install a support for the PHP and estimate just deselect this one, but I want to install what all these options. Just click on OK button. Then click on the next button. Now here, just click on the checkbox, accept the terms and condition. Click here. Then click on the next button. Now here, check out uh, here. It is uh, giving the installation path that is called C colon program files, NetBeans 12.0. Uh, uh, if you want to change the installation path, then you can click on the browse button and select the different installation path. But I'm going to select the same installation path. Now uh, it is selecting by default JDK is equals to 14. Latest version it is selecting to install the NetBeans IDE. Then click on the next button. Okay, one more point I forgot to uh, tell you before installing uh, NetBeans IDE, you must install JDK on your system. Otherwise, your setup will not start because during installation of NetBeans IDE, we required which one? JDK installation. Okay, so if you don't know how to install JDK, I will provide the link of the video which will show you how to install the JDK on your system. Okay, remember this point. Then click on the next button. Click on the next button. Then whether you want to check the continuously update or not. Suppose I want to check the updates continuously. I'm selecting this option by default and click on the install button. Now it will take some time to install all the components of which one NetBeans IDE. Just wait to complete the installation of what this IDE. Now the installation of NetBeans IDE is completed. Just click on the finish button. Now check out uh, it automatically created one shortcut on the desktop. 
just double click here so it will open netbeans ide and then i will show you how to create your first java program inside which one netbeans ide okay so it is asking permission uh, to whether uh, internet access uh, should be allowed to the netbeans id or not just click on suppose whether you want to allow or block it depends upon you it is your choice just click on okay so now it is opening just wait it takes some time to open your netbeans ide Okay, after opening uh, this NetBeans ID, it is asking for installation of plugin, two plugin, Java FX plugin and Java editing support. So just click on the next button, then click on the accept button and install. Now again, it is downloading the plugin uh, from which one? NetBeans.org. Uh, Now these plugins are installed successfully. Click on the finish button. Now just wait to complete the process of opening project here. Just it is taking some time. Okay, now NetBeans ID is uh, loaded properly. Now go to the file menu, select new project. Now check out here, a uh, lot of options are available here. You can create what your desktop application, web application, PHP project, HTML project. But here I'm going to create Java project. That's why I select Java with and inside this one, I want to select uh, only console based application. I don't want to select web application or enterprise application. Just select Java application. I want to show you how to create your simple Java program by using which one NetBeans IDE. So select Java application, click on the next button. Now here, you can specify the name of the project, whatever name you want to give, you uh, just write down, change this one, but I'm using default project name. Then here, second text box, specify the location of the project where you want to store your project. By default, your project stored inside users, then username, documents and NetBeans folder. Okay, this I'm going to select same folder, but you can change this folder by clicking browse button and selecting what different folder where you want to store your project. Now click on the finish button. Now here what happened, uh, it will by default create one uh, class file and with that class file, uh, I, I'm going to, uh, main method is automatically present. Okay, check out by default one class file is created that is called Java application 7.java then inside this one public static void main is by default present here you can uh, simply write down your code here just minimize this one so you'll get the more area to write down the code so just remove this portion okay now check out by default public static void main is created because that is the main method where your java program start it is automatically created then just write down your code. How to write down the code? Just write down system. I want to write down hello world program, for example, system dot, then what? Just write down out. Check out it is giving IntelliSense. IntelliSense means it is predicting where, uh, what option or which code you are going to type. System dot, then again, when I give the dot, it will give all the option present inside the out object. Suppose I want to print out like print ln. Okay, so just write down here, hello world hello world okay just save this one then right click here and run the file so when i click on run file that will execute uh, your java file just click on the run file and wait automatically this file is compiled and check out here you will get the output is equals to which one hello world output is equals to hello world so what is the advantage of the NetBeans ID? If you make uh, any mistake, automatically it will show there is error. Suppose uh, system S is capital, but suppose I write system S small, so it will automatically give the error. There, uh, there is error at this line. So before compiling, you will get the error uh, notification by using NetBeans ID. So this is the one of the most uh, huge IDE to create the Java program. Uh, so you can install 
uh, NetBeans ID on your system by following these steps. Okay. Now again, uh, click on the project check out. You can find out the all project uh, present inside what your NetBeans ID. If that is not visible here, then go to the window inside window, select this option that is called which one project option. Okay. Now you can again check out all the options. Now I just created Java application seven inside Java application seven one by default package is created that is called Java application seven J small. But suppose you want to create your own package, then again, it is very easy. Just click on the source package, right click new, select this option. That option is equals to H1 Java package. Then here uh, I'm using a simple name. Suppose demo, the name of the package is equals to demo. Just click on the finish. Now check out demo package is created inside this package. I want to create what new Java program. Click on the demo package new. Then select Java class file. You can give any uh, file name like for example, first class, for example, that is the name of my class file and check out package name is equals to each one demo. When I click on the finish. Now this class file that is called first class belongs to which package that is called which one demo package. Again, I'm going to minimize this one. So I get a uh, more area to write down the code. So here by default, uh, public static void main is not present. Then you can write here uh, manually like public static void. Check out here. I just write down, for example, PU. Check out here. I'm writing PU. So it will automatically give the option. Again, check out PU. Then control space bar. If that option is not visible, press control space bar. Then that option is visible. Select that one automatically code is generated. Here also you can uh, press every time you can press system uh, control space bar. Check out after writing SYS, I'm pressing control space bar. It will give the list of the option. This is called IntelliSense. This facility is provided by which one NetBeans IDE. So it will help user to type the code fast. That is the advantage of which one NetBeans IDE. So just write down hello world, right click, run the file and you will get the output as equals to hello world. So you can use NetBeans ID to create your desktop application means what your GUI program, graphical user interface program by using AWT or Swing, or you can use NetBeans ID to create the web application uh, by using Servlet or JSP. So this is the simple explanation how to install NetBeans IDE and use to create the Java program.